Hello, welcome to this tutorial in Cubase Elements 10 using the Behringer XR18 as a USB interface. So what we're going to need to do first is download the driver for the XR18 and that's found at this URL here. I'm going to leave that in the description so that you can get to that easy. And scroll down to the bottom and grab the Windows driver. If you're on Mac it's, it's probably going to use Core Audio and automatically uh, do what it needs to do. Next thing is grab the uh, X Air Edit app. It's going to be under apps here and you'll have to click this see all applications and then find the highest version of the app uh, for Windows. If you have a tablet or something like that you can use the app stores for those. Now once you have that all uh, installed, install the USB driver, reboot your computer, and then just unzip the, um, the Xair Edit app, put it in your downloads folder. You can launch it from there or else make a shortcut to your downloads folder for the app um, and put that on your desktop. It'll launch both ways. And when you open it, you're gonna see um, a default session there won't be like vocal one, two, three. I've set up for a small band here. It's just going to be uh, channel one, two, three, four, all the way across. And what you'll need to do is go into the input output here and change this. It's going to be set to main. You want to change that to 17 and 18. And then everything that's underneath uh, these other tabs, just leave it as it is. And you can close that. Now we'll go into Cubase. And take a look in the uh, first I'm going to go into the studio setup and if you go into the driver setup here it might be showing you the different channels and the output channels or it might not be showing anything at all um, make sure that you have your x18 ASIO driver selected and use that click OK and then the easiest way is to press the F4 button on your keyboard and bring up the inputs and outputs and you're going to see that there's just uh, a left and a right input and a left and a right output so the output we can deal with uh, just go to left and change that to 17 and then go to right and change that to 18 so now that's going to be corresponding to the X error uh, that we've seen here when we change this to use 1718 for the outputs. And that will come out of the mains on the X error on the front. Um, the other thing is uh, on the X error, you might have to uh, get some US, or I'm sorry, XLR adapters that go from XLR to um, TRS like a headphone jack quarter inch um, so that you can plug your speakers into it unless your speakers have uh, XLR so I'll get back over here to Cubase and take a look here what we need to do so uh, you can go in here to the stereo and uh, remove the bus stereo in and then you add a bus and this is going to be mono and you can call this channel one and click add bus and then add another bus what I usually do is after putting that in uh, just copy this with the space might speed things up a little bit add the next one so that's already grabbing two. And then add bus. And just go all the way through until you get 16. So you'll, you'll be going here until you get 16. And once that's done, then you can add a new track and select the um, input of any of these. Now you'll see the inputs here, but watch what happens when I select, uh, like let's do number nine.
click add track. So I didn't put number nine in here yet, but see it, it added it. And if I go into the studio setup and the XR18, you'll see that nine is active. And you also see here that one through um, four that I just added are active too. But you won't be able to, I mean, you can select them as you go um, through here. But to get it all set up, you know, beforehand, you can add all of your inputs into this section here and be done with it. And then it will stick. They'll all be there. Uh, you can make new songs and you'll have them all there for you at your disposal. So this concludes this tutorial on how to set up Cubase elements and it should work for artist and professional. Um, and you can just start recording straight away with it. Have a good time. Uh, the other thing is to hear what's coming in, you know, use the monitor button just as you always would. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.